So I think uh, going back to the going back to the title of the exhibit, Heavenly Bodies and the Catholic Imagination, uh, the word heavenly and the word Catholic, they shouldn't be a hundred miles from this thing, because this is not Catholic. This rather should be called uh, immodesty and a Freudian or an anti-Catholic imagination, because what is Catholic is pure, is modest. What is Catholic is something that is chaste and dignified and honorable, and there's nothing honorable, there's nothing chaste about these things at all. We went down to New York City to, uh, to investigate the, Met the Metropolitan Museum of Art for the, the Heavenly Bodies exhibit that it has. We wanted to find out what was going on, well, what's in this exhibit. Not only see the video, but to go there and, and to see and to take pictures. One of the exhibits that we saw was the uh, it's a sexual bondage mask. It's a leather leather belt with with rosary beads and uh, hang in rosaries, you know, hanging off of the off of the mask. You call this Catholic? This is Catholic imagination. This is an offense. This is an abomination. Right next to that, there's a shirt. The, the inspiration is goth, goth inspiration. So it's black and it has rosaries and crucifixes hanging all over it. That goes together with this sexual bondage mask. If anybody has any doubt that this is this is something offensive. This is something anti-Catholic. That's the first thing. It's one of the worst. That's one of the worst things that you'll see there. So to give you an idea, you're in an ambience of a room with statues from the Middle Ages. You'll see a statue of Our Lady from the Middle Ages. You'll see carvings of the of the saints. So you'll see things that are really these are real relics of the Catholic faith. And then in this context, you have it's a dress inspired by the Catholic imagination inspired by a cardinal's gown, and that's what they say, this is inspired by the way a cardinal will dress, absolutely immodest. They have all these different female garbs that are inspired by, by Catholic priests, uh, what Catholic priests would wear, monsignors would wear, etc., etc. So this is also something that's very offensive. Our Lord Jesus Christ, He established the priesthood uh, for men. So we know that to make fashions for women modeled after priestly attire, this is something also sacrilegious is something this is something offensive this is something that mocks our holy catholic faith there's a lot of uh, uh, parodies on on how our lady herself appears oftentimes so you have female dresses with an immaculate heart uh, on it revealing arms there's actually there were three gowns in one room uh, one of the chambers i took a picture of the first totally immodest with images of the saints and then the guard came over and told me that i was not allowed to take pictures of these three I could take pictures of all the other ones, but these three I was not allowed to take pictures of. And of course, these were some of the most immodest in the museum. So I don't know if there was a, they were a little bit worried because they were controversial, uh, but they did not allow me to take pictures of, the, of those three. But they were, they were images of, of, of the Catholic faith on absolutely immodest attire, something that uh, would be an occasion of sin. Uh, for, for a woman to wear that in public is something unacceptable, not Catholic. One of the seers, the Fatima seers, was St. Jacinta. One of the things that she said uh, before she died, and this was obviously from a, a revelation from Our Lord or Our Lady, was that Catholics should not follow the fashions. St. Jacinta was remembering how sins of the flesh, sins of impurity, were those sins which lead the most people to hell. And she was warning Catholics about the, the immodest attire that was going to come in the future. So, for all those out there who, who, are, who love our Lord Jesus Christ, who love Our Lady, and who, who, who are pained by this, we ask you to join us on June 9th uh, at 12 noon. We're going to be out there in front of the Metropolitan Museum. We're going to be praying the Rosary. We're going to be making reparation, and we're going to be expressing our, our peaceful, uh, yet uh, uh, legal, uh, holy indignation for what's going on in the museum. As Catholics who love God, who love Our Lady, if we're going to be honorable, if we want to have honor, we should have a holy indignation with this. We should be filled with pain and sorrow about these abominations that are at the Metropolitan Museum.